Hello everyone. This is kind of a part two to my last video on new graduates, along the same lines as last time with self-help at the focus. This time, I want to talk to those who are still in college, who are struggling. If this doesn't apply to you, I encourage you to stay and listen, because this video can be shared to someone you know who may need the advice. Let me get started. Hello students. I hope at whatever point I have caught you at in your career in university, things have been more or less okay. Before I get started, let me tell you about my backstory in college, and it will be short. Essentially, I was a music major focused in vocal performance, singing classical bass. But I graduated with a bachelor's in computer science and a minor in media arts. The reason music is not my degree is because I had a severe problem in school, which is half my own fault and half the fault of mental health issues. Basically, I had computer science as a backup, and when I realized I was utterly garbage at music theory, I moved on after the first semester. It was a painful move to make because I had a scholarship and that meant I had to pay more in the end. But I couldn't be happier that I switched. In college, you may be faced with some challenges that you cannot overcome. Whether that be a certain class, or more likely, it may be yourself. But what does that mean? It means you have expectations for yourself. Maybe they were set by you, or maybe you are feeling as if you owe it to someone else to excel in school. I want to tell you that you should stop this immediately. This is not to say do not try your best, but you are at risk of biting off more than you can chew, and it can have consequences you may not foresee. Please, I am asking you, be kind to yourself. Do not beat yourself up over a bad grade. Do not beat yourself up for a failed class. And most importantly, do not feel guilty that you may take a year or more off from college. Depending on what your upbringing is, this may bring on more concern for fear of that person you are trying to perform well for, or because of some kind of expectation you have set for yourself, like you are better than that. Firstly, please understand, your education is for you. No one else benefits from your being in university except for you. What this education is supposed to provide for you is the tools to go forward in a field that ordinarily would be unattainable without it. For example, education, law, medicine. Even computer science or other such technical fields have technical colleges if you are struggling where you are. You should not feel pressured to perform at any more than your best. You are only human. Despite how well you did in high school, college is not the same thing. You must balance friends, grades, social life, your mental and physical health, as well as everything else on your own. And most likely you no longer have your family nearby to run to if you need help. This is stressful. It is a very stressful time for you and others like you. Do not run yourself ragged or ill because of school. Take care of yourself. Sleep, eat, enjoy a day. Do not spend all of your time scared of the grade you get on a piece of paper. However, likewise, do not spend all your time drunk or high either. There is a balance you must find on your own terms. Also, do not be afraid to ask for help from a teacher, from a friend, or even from a counselor. The stigma of asking for help sometimes means accepting defeat, but that is not the case. Only in today's society have we decided that one person can be Superman and do everything. And every other time in history, great people have had friends they confided in, teachers they told their aspirations to. Frankly, stupid people try to handle everything by themselves. But you do not have to be that way. And this is important, even if the thing I just said bit a little too hard for you. I say it to encourage you to consider my opinion. There are things in this world that we cannot see. Like myself, I cannot see how you are doing in school, nor can I see how that's affected you. But know that people out there are rooting for you to do your best, not to get straight A's, for you to, first and foremost, do your best. The people that love you want to see you succeed, sure, but we want you to be happy. We don't want you to be lazy, we want you to be the best you can be. I say we, despite having never met you, because I've lost people who tried to be super when they were only human.
They are no longer with us now because of unachievable expectations they put on themselves. Just because in high school, you may be the prettiest, the smartest, the best student, the best musician, the best in something, doesn't mean that you can hold that trophy forever. You will find that in life, other people may be better than you, or maybe that you weren't that good in the first place. But I say this begging you to please take care of yourself, take care of your friends. And most importantly, you do not owe someone your education. You are living your life. Be the best you can be, not the best someone else thinks you should be. If this video hasn't applied to you, I appreciate you staying and listening to what I had to say. Please do me a favor and share this with others in college. Perhaps friends, family, whomever even if they do not appear to be struggling. It may help in ways we don't understand yet. We may never learn how we help others, but goddammit, I'm going to try anyway. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon.